We'll now move on to our third impact entrepreneur and company. Uh, the company is called GRIT, Global Research Innovation and Technology. GRIT's all-terrain wheelchair helps people with disabilities get off-road and on with their lives. The GRIT team started working on the design for their primary product, the Leveraged Freedom Wheelchair, in late 2008 at the Mobility Lab at MIT. The company is led by Tish Skolnick and Mario Bellini, and Tish will be presenting this morning. Hi, I'm Tish Skolnick. I'm the CEO and co-founder of GRIT, and I'm going to tell you about the Leveraged Freedom Chair. I met Ashok when I was in India. Several years ago, he fell from a tree and sustained a spinal cord injury that left him immobile. He was sent home from the hospital in a standard wheelchair, much like those made by our competitors, the Wheelchair Foundation and Free Wheelchair Mission. Now, unfortunately, these products just don't work in developing countries. They're hard to push, they break easily, and spare parts are not available to fix them. That leaves people like Ashok and 20 million others in developing countries homebound and unable to participate in their communities. Our primary product is the Leverage Freedom Chair, which we designed while we were students at MIT. It's a rugged, all-terrain wheelchair designed specifically for the conditions people face in developing countries. Our key technology is our patent-pending lever drivetrain, which is more efficient as a propulsion system than push rims, which are found on traditional wheelchairs. Pushing forwards on the levers propels the chair forward. On smooth, flat ground, the user can grasp the levers down low and push through a large angle. But when the going gets tougher, you simply slide your hands up the levers where you have a longer lever length and can produce more torque at the wheels, which makes it easier to get over obstacles. In comparative field tests, it's about 80% faster than conventional wheelchairs, and users can produce 53% more torque. It can be used indoors like a conventional wheelchair um, when you need that greater maneuverability. This didn't just happen overnight. Uh, as we mentioned at the beginning, we started as a student group at MIT, and our design has evolved over the past several years through close collaborations with wheelchair users across the developing world. We've conducted rigorous field trials on three continents that validated our design and helped us build uh, uh, credibility in the field. Over the years, we've been recognized with several design awards. Most notably, in 2010, we won an R&D 100 award. And in 2011, the Wall Street Journal named the LFC one of the biggest innovations of the year. So what about Ashok? How do we get the LFC to people like him? Well, in our sector, wheelchairs are purchased by these third-party groups, typically aid agencies, foundations, local and international NGOs. Right now, they're purchasing about 200,000 of these inappropriate wheelchairs, which just don't work on the terrain. They break, they're cheaply made, and you just can't fix them because spare parts aren't available. Our product offers better performance, and you can repair it instead of replacing it. All of the moving parts on the LFC are standard bicycle components, which are found all over the developing world. This allows us to take advantage of existing bicycle repair infrastructure to service the product. So these purchasers place an order to GRIT. Our current price is $250 a chair. We contract the order to our manufacturer, Pinnacle Industries, which is based in India. They manufacture the product and deliver it to the customer, who then ultimately provides it to the end user. The Inter-American De Development Bank, Jaipur Foot, and the Walkabout Foundation are some of the customers that we're currently working with. So in the developing country market, we've got this rugged all-terrain wheelchair with years of product testing behind it. And we thought to ourselves, well, what about the market in the US and Europe? And we took a look at the existing landscape and found that wheelchairs in our own market haven't changed in about 150 years. That's the first wheelchair patent that you see filed there. So in a partnership with Continuum, a local design firm, we've been developing a concept for a version of the LFC that would enter the US market. And that's an image of the concept that you see there on the screen. We're planning to enter the US market in 2014 and plan to undercut current competitors whose products range from six to $8,000, out of reach for many wheelchair users here in the US. We're exploring licensing and distribution opportunities with both wheelchair and bicycle manufacturers because of the high use of bicycle components in our product. And we're looking to target the 1.8 manual wheelchair users that are right here in the US. 
So what are we focusing on right now? So in our developing country market, we're building out a sales staff in India, which is one of our target markets and where we're currently manufacturing our product. We're looking to expand to other key international markets in Africa and Latin America, and we're partnering with international NGOs to expand our reach. In the US and European markets, we're focusing on, on what we did best at the beginning, that prototyping and user testing that's so important in developing the product. We're looking to launch in 2014 and are exploring partnerships and licensing opportunities here as well. To date, we've raised $275,000 to bring our product to market in developing countries. We're here today seeking to raise $300,000 that would help us reach our goals more quickly in scaling our operations in developing countries and bring our product to market here in the US. So the, the team is uh, myself, my co-founder Mario Bellini is here with me today. Ben Judge and Amos Winter round out the team. We all hold degrees in mechanical engineering from MIT and have spent significant time in the field working with wheelchair users hand in hand to bring this product to where it is today. We've also worked with a number of great partners who've helped us design, build, and fund our operations to this point. So what happened to Ashok? Well, I'm pleased to say that in 2011, he received an LFC as a part of our field trial in India. He is a thriving member of his community, and he's got that big smile back on his face. Um, we hope that you can find an opportunity to join us in bringing the LFC to the millions of people around the world who can benefit from it, just like Ashok did. Thank you.